Star, home to the Union of Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR had satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Ah, good. You're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What you got, Jack? Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... You know what? Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie at the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. 
I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh... All that. Have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making ease. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. good taste in weapons. That is reassuring. UIR flag, right? Yep. But you know, Paddock will probably say it's about heritage. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. Place open.
I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But... All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. 
Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. <clears throat> just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Gotta be the rocket hanger. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket. <sighs> Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp.
Done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us. We're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations. Because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looked huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sap. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. the other side of that glass. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rock here. Paddock, Barry. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Hey, Jack. Let's pull some records. OK. 
Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Who? That's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. R right, buddy? <laughs> no virus to stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Pat it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're Vasgari. Did you have read those files? No. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Vasgari with me growing up. They didn't want to see anything different. This way. It's called a gantry? Is it then? Bring it over. Mm -hmm. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Static, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Oh shit, swarm ahead. Oh, 
drop them off. Now, let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Get 
last one. So, let's keep looking for those satellites. the hammer yourself but now you're saying it's a mistake what gives you launch you buy us some time but eventually they'll win you must know this no I don't <laughs> hmm. doors welded shut then that's the door you want <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Someone get on that turret. Oh shit, we got poppers. Don't let them get too close. Take them. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. A handful. 
again another ruse. Jack got the door open. Good job. <laughs> Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Asgard, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. it first make the call choices choices all right off we go then uh having a problem pal no just figuring it out so our friend pat has got some uh interesting thoughts on the hammer of dawn <laughs> who's he to judge he tried to launch it himself okay Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Let's try this. There, satellite's on the move. Stay clear of that rail, people.
Maybe it needs more of a jump. might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! The city ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Knock it off! Oh shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it. Got it. Just keep us moving. Doing my best.
Well, that went swimmingly. Uh, no comment. Look for another switch, just like the other one. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. That's it. All satellites secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Ugh. Well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world we want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Guys, our ride's leaving. God damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the anger driving it. Satellites are on the move. Are we planning on following the satellites? Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There, let's keep up with it.
Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your speed. We'll find your rockets soon enough. All right. We're on our way. We need some light. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. <clears throat> Need some help. are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. You sick guys below us! Poor show, mate! Okay, they're down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. Get the hammer working or not. I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not won't matter. Let's just find a way back. Over there! Incoming!
Who knew putting a rocket together would be so difficult? Hmm. Assist. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? They just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah, pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes, it's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. They could have given me half a city in here. Massive. Don't envy whoever had to build it. for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hand? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Garavian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked. So the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Yeah. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this panic. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either.
Foz, as of Vasgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes? Nah, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! Onto the turntable! Rocket train's facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Now, how do we turn this thing? We start it by finding a control. Hey, it's warm. Perfect. Ready when you are. They spotted us! You know what to do, Delta! Delta, by the lift! Zion!
Reload! Train turned around. hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Trains a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff.
kidding me. to be fucking kidding me. Paramount! Clock is ticking, people! The clock is not ticking! The clock is about to explode! That's not how works. Shit! No! No! Not now! No! The bridge controls are wrecked! Then we bring it down the old-fashioned way! Okay. What the hell am I shooting at? That big clamp! That'll bring it down! Train's coming! We gotta get that bridge down! Now! 
As soon as we killed the Matriarch, they ended. I haven't had one since. And, and this idea you have about your mother, Bean? It's not an idea. I saw her. I saw whatever she is now. I've gone too far. Let's go. I'm guessing that's the water tower paddock mission. We're gonna check it out.
deal with this water tower. Are we stopping or not? What did Paddock say they're doing here? Trying to get their water supply back online. I think we just discovered the problem! Whoa! So let's get in there and clean them out! Uh. Jack, take them! Uh. <laughs> Nomads make it out of this? Someone's in there. All right, come on. Out. There's no one in here. Oh, cute trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira! Go get Koi! Hokran Posi Durdini Ops a fascist! I'm not really here in gratitude here. Eh? Alright, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Muni bar pek nane tu kog zosit boshka dok. Od bas pek nane tu deshit pilen poi ki.
Convoy trucks, over by that ruin. And it looks like someone's there. Should we stop? If we want to check on the old docks, now might be a good time. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drift. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few off quietly. <laughs> Jack, take him. <laughs> they us! Delta. We clear? Clear. <sighs> Here too. Paddock, we cleared out the old docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. 
But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. Okay. <laughs> Jack, it's, um, it's all you. The good news, Paddock. Turning on your drill didn't kill us all. Then congratulations. You've almost succeeded in getting our water supply back online. All that's left is to check in on our pump station. If we find the time, yeah, we'll do that. Delta out. I think it's time we got back to the skiff. Yeah. All right, Delta. Let's head out. Oh, shit. Just realized. Forgot my sunscreen. Your sunscreen. I burn easily. Ever fight with a sunburn? It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'll radio back to command. Maybe they can arrange for an airdrop or something. See, you kid. So that would actually be very helpful. Here reminds me of OCS, back in the Deadlands. Oh shit! Yeah, first time I ever had beetle soup. What's beetle soup? Well, you take some water, boil it, then toss in some beetles. Oh, so pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Hey, it's protein. Your body doesn't know the difference. Honestly, I kind of liked it. That's probably why you're a captain. driving.
Jen's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Settlement 2 shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Oi, oi, I do believe we found that trading facility. Okay, let's find these targeting beacons. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. Understeal your boss deals with that. You won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fate's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. <laughs> There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. 